All right, y'all, we back. Shit, man, you so man. Got another, got another video over here. Thanks to Evil One Two Three Four Underscore BJ. That's right, I know your old name, nigga. Anyways, uh, this is the Try Guys Baked Bread Without a Recipe. That sounds freaking terrible. That's a that's terrible. That's a terrible idea. Why would you do that? Look at Zach. Look at Zach right here. This is a prime example. Look at him. He doesn't know what he's doing. Look at the white lady. She doesn't know how he's going to make this. Look at Eugene. Look at Eugene. What's that dude's name who did the salt like that? He, just, he said like that. He said, like that. He, said, he said something like that. He said like that. Salt Bay. Salt Bay. Is that his name? The Salt Bay? He was like that. He said. That was Eugene before Salt Bay. Eugene is the original Salt Bay. Okay, let's jump in. Okay. More flour? I'm going rogue. It smells like pizza. Is this poison if I just eat it like this? When do you put the yeast in, I wonder? Way long ago. Okay. All right. Y'all know how we used to do it in other videos. Who do y'all think is going to make the best bread? Throw Zach out automatically. You know what I'm saying? Automatically. Keith, uh, I don't know. He likes fried chicken. That has some breading on it. Um... Ned, Ned loves his wife, and maybe his wife bakes. Eugene hates dogs. Does he hate dogs? I can't remember. I can't remember if he hates dogs. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say Ned. I'm gonna say Ned. Let's go. Today we're in the tasty kitchen, where the Try Guys will try their hand at making bread. But there's a catch. They will not be getting a recipe or any instructions how to do it. Whose idea was this? This is terrible. You just have to go by their own initiative and the ingredients they have chosen. Oh, no. Eugene definitely ain't gonna do it. He's drunk. He's drinking. Oh, and no, oh, no. The bakers will then be judged by our panel. Alexis Tobosnik from BuzzFeed. She looked like that girl from uh, Walking Dead that uh, was kicking it with, what's his name? Ken? Jake? Ben, what was this? What was that guy's name? Nigga killed him with the with the hammer bat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was his name Donald? What, what was his name? Jake? I don't know. Own tasty kitchen. Hannah Hart from her show I Heart Food. She looks like a a skier snowboarder. That's what all the skeeter snowboarder women look like during the Winter Olympics. Food on the Food Network and Zach Cole from LA's famous Clark Street. He looks like a guy I used to work with. <laughs> His name was Cuddy. Uh, hey. <laughs> Bakery. Bread is very, very simple on paper. You get the flour, and by adding water to it, it makes gluten, which is able to trap gas. We use the salt just to give bread flavor without it be bland, and we use the yeast to, to make the gas in bread. And that's why bread is inflated and is nice and fluffy. This is an extremely easy thing to mess up, especially if you don't have, you know, uh, a lot of practice doing it. Bread. Bread is one of those things that everybody's eaten. But how do you make bread? I don't bake. I don't cook. Seeing how bread is made makes me not want to eat bread. Anything. I used to be a chemist, so I know that baking is a very precise science. And like math, I can look at a problem and know it's algebra, but I'm not going to know what the answer is. We're just going to fucking wing it, you guys. I think I'm going to win this today. I think for once, Keith is like the leader. Uh, but Keeps too clumsy to make bread. Not, not gonna be able to do it. Because I think I know what I'm doing. Ready guys, on your mark, get set, and try and bake. To get started, our bakers must first select their ingredients from the Tasty Pantry. And I hope they choose Ooh. wisely. Liquid bread. Oh boy, this is overwhelming. There's a lot of- There's a such thing as liquid bread? I thought he was drinking beer. That's- Hold on, liquid, liquid bread? Li liquid bread? What? I'm ha what? Stuff. I would suggest to start with a loaf of just flour, water, salt, and yeast. You know, it's sort of like the benchmark. It's like do this before you move on to adding other ingredients. I can't look at. I can't take this dude serious. He looks so much like this guy I used to work with y'all. Yeah, I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Into it. Do you guys know where gluten is? I think you just need salt, yeast, and flour. Is there anything else I should get? Sugar? You got honey? Today I'm gonna make a white bread. You know, white bread's a lot like me. Plain, not super healthy, and generally likable. Time. I don't like white bread. Get that out, uh-uh, nah, heck, mm-mm. 
I am. I love black roasted sesame seeds. I love alcohol, I love spice. Those two things represent me. And I'm gonna try to find a way to fold it into bread. I don't know if either belong there, but I'm gonna make it happen. My ancestors made the mistake of forgetting yeast in their bread. I am not gonna follow in their footsteps. Boom, three things of yeast. My approach- Who's his ancestors? Approach is just gonna be, I'm just gonna grab as much bullshit as possible and hope that something happens. I don't wanna create poison. How many eggs do I need? Fuck it, I'll take all of them. Oh, cinnamon! Oh my god, yes! In my family, me and my dad were the only two people that liked cinnamon raisin bread. So it's a very special memory for me, and I'm going to- I told you, Ned, man, I- man, I- watch, you can watch. I'm going to try and recreate- I ain't seen this either, I ain't seen it. The cinnamon raisin bread that we bought at the store. Ready, set, bake! Okay. What are we grabbing? What? Need a bowl, I need a bowl, I need a big bowl, I need a small bowl. So first thing you want to do when you're making bread is to mix together your ingredients. First ingredient of bread, <laughs> bread crumbs. Time to bake. Nobody? I have this sugar from Japan. I didn't grab sugar, I grabbed honey, which is essentially sugar that's been vomited out of a bee's mouth. Excuses, excuses, excuses. All he cares about is fried chicken. My bread is going to be a honey white bread, and I'm going to give it an egg wash on top so it looks extra special. Cayenne! <laughs> Are you starting with spices? Is that? I'm just mixing them together. My bread is going to be the Drunken 12 Spice Loaf. It has an entire- Are these real bread or are they just naming random breads that they about put together? I almost choked up. Entire pack of IPA beer and lots of spice. So what's your game plan, Ned? Uh, first, I'm going to make a cinnamon and sugar mixture and set it aside. Uh, it's going to give it some color, some swirls, and some sweetness. Today, I'm making a cinnamon raisin bread. It reminds me of growing up eating toast. Um, I bought, I got three different types of flour. Uh, so I'm just going to go with this one because it sounds the fanciest. Buckwheat flour. Get my buckwheat on. Today I am baking a buckwheat loaf, including some of my favorite things, like Nutella. It looks like duty. Ella, gummy bears, and breadcrumbs. I am starting with uh, yeast. So what is yeast? <coughs> this is the stuff that gives women infections. Is this different yeast? And so one of these yeast... I ain't gonna lie, that's what I was thinking. I ain't gonna lie. Yeast packets is 14 grams. Just a little bit of that. There we go. That's all the yeast you need. Yeast. What does it do? <sighs> Just going in, baby. Let's see what happens. Oh my God. As everyone knows, all chemical reactions get accelerated by agitation, so I'm going to stir my yeast. You know yeast is in beer, don't you? Well, if Eugene's putting more yeast, then I want more yeast. I'm supposed to put some amount of this water into this bowl and then add some amount of sugar in as well, because the sugar activates the yeast. And you don't need to activate the yeast. If it's dried like this, you can just add it straight in with the dry ingredient. They have no idea what they're doing. This is about to be terrible. Are they about to eat this? They're going to get some food poisoning. Mix it, add the water. It'll do its thing. We'll put in the flour. Pour it off. Get in there. Get in there. Fuck, fuck, fuck. All about the ratios. Next, we'll go with 20 grams of salt. Mazel tov. This is what they do in the cooking show, so let's do it like that. So I'm just going to put in a tablespoon. And now we can add our water, make a nice soft dough. You should use water. Here now, you just want to mix it until all of the water has been absorbed and it's homogenized. So there's no pieces of dry flour remaining and there's no, uh, no clumps. Looks like you're doing very well, actually. I have watched a lot of cooking shows. Oh. They roll the dough into a little ball. Does egg go in bread? Because I'm putting it in there. Why does mine look like doo-doo? Did I fuck we up? We need to get some more flour in there because that's more like um, mud, mud pies and anything else. Maybe Eugene is drunk, drunk. Real flour, Ned, I don't want to open a new flour. Or Eugene, I'm going to borrow some flour, buddy. There's one thing this dough needs, and it's a little more love. If you want to make sure that you need your bread enough, the way to tell whether you need it enough is it'll change from this sort of like... Is that Fruity Pebbles in his bread? That's disgusting. Putty to kind of holding its own shape a little bit more. It'll look smooth, it'll look shiny. This feels a lot like I'm massaging a really squishy butt. It's taking me forever to... He is drunk. Fucking need this. Okay. And I need this. Y'all, this is coming together. Hey, How oh, is hey, yours that color? Oh. I don't know. What I tried to, to Why it? is the... Why? So from that point on, you want to be kind of hands off. You don't want to be too rough with it. I need this, baby! Because everything you do to it will knock gas out of it and make it denser 
and uh, harder to bake through. Beer volcano! More, look, the more solid stuff I put in here, the better shot I got. I did find a beer bottle cap in it before, but I took it out. But at this point, you're just shaping it so that it looks like a loaf of bread. You want to make sure there's not too much flour, just enough. Otherwise, it prevents the dough from sticking to itself. Uh, I've got my bread all... Bacon is too tedious. I, I don't have the patience for that. You know what I'm saying? I don't got patience for bacon. I ain't got time to be measuring stuff. I measure nah. Rolled up with cinnamon and sugar and raisins. Right now, you know, it looks like it looks like one of those airplane pillows. It looks like a croissant. It actually looks good. This is my lump. It's a little bit of buckwheat. Uh, some Nutella in there, because you know everyone loves Nutella. Threw in some fruity pebs for the nostalgia factor. Here's my bread, nice and ready. I hate that Eugene's dough looks pretty okay right now. <laughs> After you've shaped it, then it proofs. And what I like to do at this point is to stick it in the fridge overnight. It'll rise really slow at a cool temperature. The next morning when you come back to it, you'll see it's doubled in volume um, and it's ready to be baked. So it's been quite a day for our bakers and now they're ready to put their dough aside to proof overnight. Oh, I hope they don't fuck it up. Oh, 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 Granny over here got a little filthy mouth, don't she? I hope they don't block it up. It's day two of this exciting baking challenge. Everyone's waiting to see, have their breads risen? I'll be shocked if, if Zach's doo-doo looking bread has risen, for sure. My yeast was foaming, so hopefully things worked out okay. I'm just worried it's gonna be too big, really. I think no matter what happens, we're all impressed, you know? It's all about- He put fruity pebbles in the bread, people. Fruity pebbles the journey not the destination it was already rising pretty well by the end of yesterday so I, I have good hopes for it I think I did pretty poorly yesterday might have been one of my worst performances in Try Guys history let's see okay let's see it whoa oh, no! <laughs> no, that's good it, it's uh, I didn't expect it to become flat like a soup oh my <laughs> god it went from an airline pillow to a butt pad <laughs> Hey, it rose a little bit. Looks like a stale turd. Oh. Holy oh. shit. Still smells like beer. This looks crazy. This is awful. It's a monster and hopefully I can bake it. Woo. I think so far Eugene's looks the best. Okay, so let's talk about how to bake it. So I'm gonna try and make a cinnamon bundt cake bread. Cake is really just a type of bread. One of the most beautiful things you can do with bread is a signature, something that lets everybody know that it's your bread and not anyone else's bread. So I'm going to split it with a K for Keith. How does he know so much about bread? I'm just gonna throw butter on it. Yeah, now we got a real buttery dough. Oh, oh. Is Eugene even trying? But he's, he's like doing well though. That's what I'm saying, like he ain't even trying. But it's squirting. To complete my bread, I'm gonna give it a nice crust of pretzels and chocolate. Did nothing. <laughs> I can't even break a pretzel right? I'm gonna make a braid. And there's one thing I know how to do with two sisters is braid. I really respect what's happening on this side of the room, but we're getting a little avant-garde with it. You know, we're mixing it up. <sighs> yes, queen, yes! You bake it for about 40 minutes at 475 degrees. I'm doing 350 degrees, 40 minutes? I don't know. I'm just gonna say 30 minutes. The thing is, I wanted to preheat mine at 375 as well. Wow! Because of uh, frozen food. I would say that if I'm doing it, that's maybe a sign you shouldn't do it. I'm gonna do a little egg wash on it so that it can look sexier. Ooh, that's not washing the way I want it to. You add some water in there too, or just not? Just no, egg. just egg. Should it be water too? A little bit. Yeah. Well, I can see that there's some bubbling happening down there. It smells good. Why is it bubbling? Well, that's a cake pan for Zola. I gotta stand out in this competition. Oh, I think you will. Uh, <laughs> it looks like a cottage loaf. It's oh, like, okay. Yeah. That sounds fancy. I'll take right. that. I think I'm good. Yeah. I think I'm gonna take it out. All right, there you go. Then what you're left with is something like this. A loaf of bread that's got a nice color to it, nice and even shape, nice volume. This is pretty amazing. I can't believe it. I'm gonna fucking win. That's bread. The egg wash definitely remained just egg on top of bread. It certainly smells like eggs, but otherwise, I think it's good. I assume you put butter on everything. Dang, Eugene. Oh yeah. That 
actually looks all right for somebody who don't know how to make bread and he didn't have a recipe. Wow, that's damn. I'm shocked. Because butter is delicious. <laughs> ah! It's bread. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's, it's based on the test, ain't it? It's not how it looks. Okay, let's see him taste it. Sesame seeds. Welcome to the final judging when we will find out who is the top baker. Zach's looks looks like a turd. Like a little turd. Like if you go to the bathroom at Walmart, third stall, it's always, trust me, it's always the third stall. You walk in, you're going to see that. You're going to see Zach, Zach's bread in the third stall at Walmart. Trust. We'll be judging on three categories. Presentation, taste, and is it bread? Zach. Ned, will you please present your bread? Judges, I present to you Ned's cinnamon raisin. Is that a bunt cake? It is a bunt uh, pan was used to make the bread, yes. The bread. It smells pretty sweet. And it's got a nice, a nice heft to it. Thank yeah, you, let's Chef. Let's cut into this. Well, you got the, you got the swirl. This? Oh. Wow. But um, the inside's gorgeous. Yes. Yeah. Let's, let's see how it tastes, maybe. Oh, man. I think that's about sums up what I think of the taste. <laughs> Where is the bitterness coming from? Give it a try. Oh. Need some milk right about now, right? I think it's a good, uh, good first try for sure. It looks great, but do spit it out, so it must be terrible. Uh, but definitely, you can use a little bit more sugar and salt next time, just to get the the salt. You put salt in bread, man. I can't flavor. It's a little bit bland. So, judges, my question now is: Is it bread? It is bread-like, but there's so much more it wants to be. The more I eat it, the more I'm into it. That is called Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> Ooh. Uh oh, here, here it comes. Oh, is that an egg wash? Just initially, the, the first scent I'm getting off of it is the yolk. It really smells like egg. Presentation-wise, <laughs> I think this looks like it could be bread. Yeah, I think without the egg wash, it would look just like a, a really nice attempt at bread. Yep, I think I fucked it up right at the end there. <laughs> Give it a shot. Oh my god. Give it a chance. What do you think? Oh my god. It's got zero flavor. Well, it's got to have some flavor. You're really reacting. And it's under... Shh, that, that girl in the white, the way she reacted, that's how you know it's bad. Dude spit it out the first time, and then he spit it out again. I think he's going for, you know what I'm saying, quadruple double or whatever. But when she spit it out, she she swallowed uh, Ned's uh, bread. But she spit that bread out. Mm-mm. I, I th You're baked. Oh, fuck. Let's see if it bounces. <laughs> oh. I think Eugene, I think Eugene might pull it out now, because ain't no, bro. The dark horse and the dark turd, there's no way Zach's about to win this. No way. I don't believe it. No. You'd think that it would have <laughs> less. Mmm. Less. That's good. So, judges, is it bread? This, yes. Th this is definitely bread. We, we can give it that. We can give it that. All right, judges. Wow. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at this. Oh, my it's God. Thank beautiful. you. Um, this is Eugene's Drunken Spice Loaf. Were you drunk when you made it? I was. <laughs> the color. It's good. The, the color's better. The braid is beautifully done. Ready? And bread. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at this. It looks really good. This feels like bread. Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is great. I would almost <laughs> swallow this. I will. Really? Yes, this is my my slice is good. I just feel like it's like like old beer. It is three bottles of beer. You might have gotten a lot of star anise in your slice. I, I didn't know how it was proportioned. <laughs> is this your first time making bread? <laughs> yeah, it's my first time. Wow. Say not not, not a bad job at all. No, no. Actually slightly impressive. So the final. He was drunk when he was making that. That's crazy. Question is, is it bread? Absolutely. Am I still drunk because I wasn't expecting these answers? <laughs> okay, Zach. I think the real question is, if you don't know how to make bread and you don't have a recipe, you should just get drunk and then make bread. No? Okay. Please present your bread. Judges, today we've seen where bread has been. I'm going to show you where bread is going, if you oh, will. An introduction. I present my take on the buckwheat bread, the buck sweet bread. What forest floor did you pick this up off of? 
You're telling me that if you walked into like an organic food restaurant and you saw that, you wouldn't be like, yeah, I'm intrigued. You know, it looks rustic. Thank you, thank you. I don't want to eat it. <laughs> Facts, I don't want to eat that doo-doo looking cake anyway. Because you just want to look at it all day because it's so beautiful, I get it. We're just gonna... Oh. Does it look like bread? No. Uh, there, there's, there's sprinkles in here. Oh, I like that it just, it falls. falls. It's a crumble loaf, did I not mention that? <laughs> I'm real confident in this one. I can't. It's funny because I actually can't seem to pick it up. <laughs> Come on, Zach. From one Zach to another. No. Zach. No, no, Zach. No. Zach. Oh Just my put God. Your tongue on it, All right, we lost Zach. That's fine. There's only room for one Zach in here. Got my girls. No. Come on. <laughs> oh. I told you they just ate duty. They just ate Zach's duty. On YouTube, they ate the duty. Oh that my. that is the worst food I've ever tried in my life. Wow. <laughs> I didn't know I would be getting a superlative today. That's amazing. Oh my it God. Cannot, it's truly terrible. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> I actually am covered in chills. I swallowed like at least 10% of that. That's not the goal. You could not pay me to eat this. Is it bread? This is not bread at all. Right, because it's, it's next level. Uh, no, this is not bread. Chefs, thank you. Uh, you know, I can leave this. No. Where you, want. you should burn it. So, judges, what do you think? On the bright side, we know which is the worst. Oh yeah. And Ned's was really beautiful. True, and if he had been going for bunt cake, yes, he would have really nailed it. And if he had used sugar. Keith's. <laughs> <laughs> Looked like a big pterodactyl egg to me. <laughs> I liked a little because I like eggs. Eugene's. It was very impressive that. Uh, the braid. Yeah, that braid that he done. The piece you had was more yeah. edible. I was thinking about swallowing. Yeah. So. John, I believe we're in agreement. Okay, let's call them back in. I was gonna pick Eugene, but I went with Ned because I don't know. So welcome back, bakers. The judges have given us their results. Are you ready? Fourth. I think they all know. Like, why are we doing this special presentation? We all know Eugene made the best looking braid. Cake. Is that? Well, the challenge was to make bread and. That looks like duty with nuts and fruity pebbles in it. This looks terrible. Quit showing this on YouTube. No, I don't want to see not. this. And third, we have Ned. It looked nice when it came out. It, it looked did. really nice, Ned. Really good job. Really nice. So, as a second. Can you have. Okay, so they said Ned didn't have enough sugar or had sugar at all or whatever, but. Does that mean you can never have not enough sugar in your bread or pastries? Like, it you can all the other measurements need to be specific, but just pour on the sugar. You know what I'm saying? Bring in the sugar. You know what I'm saying? What's up? What's up? We have Keith. The dinosaur egg. You really have a few. That does look like a dinosaur egg. It looks like somebody threw up on a rock. Sure, and almost sort of making bread. And now for the big finale. I wonder who it could be. Pleased to announce. Eugene. 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 Congratulations. Oh, Yay, thank you. I've been asking for hugs all day. <laughs> I really think it was the, the coloring and the distribution. that That's what edged everybody out. That actually looks like something you can find in the store. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, let me go get me some bread. Oh, look at this one. It's got a bread. Oh, okay. You know, you actually had something that was kind of like a crust. Mm. It's not good. No, no, let's not, let's not get confused here. That's no. not good. It's not good. But it's the best out of the others. Yeah. <laughs> I think we learned how to accidentally make bread. This has inspired me to try cooking more than I do now. Can't help but say I'm incredibly discouraged by the outcome of today's video. I tried so hard to engineer a video that couldn't end the same way all videos end. Sometimes you take risks, and like Eugene, it pays off. Other times, those risks do not pay off. I want to try and bake bread with a recipe next time. I feel like I could have really nailed this. <laughs> that vein, those two veins in his head make him look pissed. He's mad, man. Oh, he mad. He about to go home and break like six loaves of cake of bread. I mean, just, just to get his weight up. You know what I'm saying? He's mad. Just had a couple of simple instructions. Eugene's did taste better, okay? I'll admit it. That's what I'm upset about. His bread was better. I'm not mad because I think that his wasn't better and I should have won. He should have won. I'm mad that I wanted to win more and I didn't. <laughs> I'm disappointed in myself. And I've been externalizing all my angers on Eugene or other people, but I'm mad at my own shortcomings. 
Shouldn't have put the egg on top. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was a great video, man. Shout out to uh, Eva1234 underscore VG. You thought I forgot, but I didn't, man. Send me some more requests, y'all. All right? Don't make bread unless you're drunk, okay? <laughs>